the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. 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 Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, God changed this service. We cannot tell God how to run in church. It's not what we want to do. It's what God said. Praise God. And he's worthy. If we follow God's instruction, we cannot go around. Praise God. Praise God Almighty. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask Sister Kelly. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm going to ask Sister Kelly. I am just Praise God, you're not, you know, this is not appropriate. Speak up from your paper and tell God what to do. And I'm going to ask you to tell you. Yes,
thanks for allowing me to be in this house another time no good that I've done but it's because of his mercy why I'm here and brethren as I was coming into church today and um, what came to me was um, Paul when he was preaching the word and the people didn't like it and I was looking at how they threw him in jail and while he was in jail it was at that time that he prayed and he sang praises unto God and my encouragement, brethren, to, and to the church is to sing praises to God. Because, brethren, the Bible says that at midnight, there was a shaking. And, brethren, today can be your shaking. Brethren, whatever depression, whatever sin, whatever backbiting, whatever loss, whatever it is that's in you that you need to get out. Brethren, all we need to do is just give God 100%. That's all God asks, brethren. He doesn't want us to go and say, God, I've done this. God, but I've done that. Because the devil will bring things in your mind. But it's just for us to just put aside every heavy weight that besets us. And brethren, it's literally, brethren, that's all we have to do. All we have to do is enter into his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. Brethren, just think of one thing that God has done for you. And we just, brethren, I'm just going to ask us to sing one more song. And brethren, just close your eyes, brethren, and focus on God. Think of one thing that God has done for you and see the mighty blessing that God's going to bring in here. Brethren, if we focus on God completely, there will be a shaking. And that shaking will drop off every weight, brethren. And that for next week, it will carry you from next week and the week after. So that's my encouragement, brethren. Just focus on God. It came to my mind today, and it came to my mind again. And God used evangelist to come and call me. And that's what I'm going to explain to the church one more time. Just focus on God. Give him 100%, brethren. That's all God wants. That's all God wants. And that's all, that's all he asks for, brethren. He doesn't ask for your money, for your house, for your car. All God asks for is 100%. 
And that's my encouragement in Jesus' name.
is God. We can see that God wants to get his praise. We hear over and over that he deserves all the glory. He deserves all the glory, all the praise. He said we should enter with thanksgiving in our hearts. Virgin, all of us, let us stand. Let us stand. We are going to give God some praise today. We are going to give God praise today. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can't you see I'm moving up the King's Highway? The King's Highway. Just in the
perfect peace in this dark world of sin. The saints greetings in jesus name our prayers are standing that you pray for me because i want the peace of god to be in my heart in my mind in my soul and to consume my spirit i'm giving god thanks for the way how he's been leading his service not our service but his service and as the Spirit of God is moving, and I was standing there and I was thinking about when the Spirit moves, what happens? Yes. I was thinking about when Jesus was walking and blind Bartimaeus was there. Yes. The Spirit was moving. Yes. Though he was walking in flesh, yet still he was a Spirit of God. Yes. And blind Bartimaeus had a need. He wanted to see. Amen. Did not have the privilege like many that had the sight. And he wanted that. Amen. And though the crowd was there. And he started to press his way. They wanted him to be quiet. Yes. They wanted him to be quiet. Amen. But he know that he had a need. Yes. And he know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was there. And he cried out. He cried out and he said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And mercy came to him. And he received this sign. Again, the spirit was moving when the woman had the issue of blood. For all these years, I'm talking about when the spirit is moving. She tried all that she could to be healed. Spent all that she had and she still could not be made whole. But that day the spirit of God was moving. And she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Now, the Spirit of God gives life. 
The Spirit of God is powerful. So whenever the Spirit of God is moving, something must happen. As Brother Joel said earlier on, Paul, Peter was in prison. Right? And they prayed. The saints, they prayed. While he was locked up, while he was being guarded, the saints, they prayed. And God answered and honored that prayer. And once again, the spirit began to move. And he was free from prison. The power was so immense that he couldn't even believe what was going on. And even when he turned up to the house where there was, they still couldn't even believe what had happened because the spirit was moving. Please pray for me, saints. The spirit of God is clearly in this place today. The spirit of God is clearly here today. I'm talking about the creator of heaven and earth. I'm talking about the almighty God who's making the sun to shine outside right now. The same almighty God that this evening, the sun is going to go down and the moon and the stars is going to have to stand still. When the spirit of God is moving, great things must happen. You have to believe. In God, all things are possible. And as Brother Stanley said earlier on this morning, it takes your faith. So just know that the Spirit of God is here. I saw that come to me as I stand here, that when the Spirit of God is moving, you see what the Spirit does. There's no confusion in the Holy Ghost. There's no confusion in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is what breaks down barriers. That's why I said, said the, the, the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. But it's mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And breaking those evil imaginations that want to take over the mind. We belong to God. Whether you're saved or you're not saved, we belong to God. We may have some ways that's not of God, but we believe we belong to Him. Because the bread that we breed do not belong to us, it belongs to Him. That's why. As the scripture said, he sent his only begotten son to die for the whole world. And that whosoever believing on him shall not perish. So we give God thanks for today. Just know that the spirit of God is moving. Set yourself in the right place to be touched by the spirit of God. Stand in the right place to receive the Spirit of God. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Though he was talked about, though he was despised, though he was rejected, he was still doing good. And I give God thanks that he did not murmur, he did not complain. Even when he was on the cross, he still not complain the scripture said he could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the whole world and set him free but because of the love of God he died all alone he suffered he bled and he died all alone but the beauty of it that I love is that he not he did not stay there in the grave he rose again triumphant death has no power 
The grave did not have no power. Because all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. Because he is God all by himself. Today, if you are not saved, I have a simple message for you. Jesus loves and Jesus cares for you. There is no life outside of God. The mind may make you think that you have life outside of God. But I'm telling you, if you're not saved today, give God a try in your heart today. Because he can set you free. Because there is a void that's in your life that you're trying to fill. And you cannot fill it all by yourself. You may try weed. You may try man. You may try woman. You may try drinks. You may try party. You may try fighting. You may try all sorts. But only Jesus Christ can fill that gap. And he brought you in here today. Today. To let you know that he loves and he cares for you. And your soul is required. No one can force you to come to God. It's a willing service. But God speaks to everyone's heart. So today, today, you've got a chance in your life. Because outside of God, death is waiting. Prison is waiting. So much man of evil is waiting. But when you're inside God, you are protected. Because he shields his own. A good shepherd never leaves his sheep alone. So today, as God has brought you in his house, give God a chance in your life. And you will see the difference that God will make in your life. You will stand and you will testify that God has made a change and a difference in your life. One thing I have to tell you, a knife has no name on it. And the bullet don't have a name on it. Poison don't have a name on it. But with God shielding you and in your life, all things will change for the better. These are my few words. Please pray my shirt. And as you sit in your seat and God is talking to you, it's God is talking to you. Humble yourself unto him and let the Lord have his way in your life. You please pray my strength in Jesus' name. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided
Jesus, I give honor to God this afternoon. Greetings, my mother, officer, saints, visiting friends. I greet you in Jesus' name. God has been a good God. From we walk in here this morning, we can see that God is here. And God is here to do something. Praise the name of Jesus. I know Sister Pam called me for an exaltation, but as I was sitting there, if you'll permit me, please, this song has laid on my heart to sing. Praise the name of Jesus. And I pray that somebody will realize today that you're not here by mere curiosity. You are here today, this day, this day today, right now, because God wants to do something supernatural in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. And he can only do it if you allow him. Praise the name of Jesus. Shackled by this heavy burden Neath the load of guilt and shame
something you can never do it let him touch you today and he will make you all god bless you in jesus name lucky enough i had the privilege that i went to buckingham palace God. even though it's for a job interview but i went there and i was shown around a few um other places and i counted um even though i didn't get that job I still count it as a privilege Amen. that I was invited for two interviews. So I count that as a privilege Amen. over my working life. Amen. But the moment I, I, I wake up in the morning and realize I'm still in my right mind, Amen. the moment I realize I can enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart, the moment I realize I can enter into his courts Amen. with praise, you, I count it as a privilege. Amen. 
And I count it as an honor. Because today I am not calling on a God who is dead. Today I'm not calling on a God who can't hear me. I'm not calling on somebody who can't come to my rescue. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. But I'm giving thanks, glory and honor to his excellency. The great I am. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. How great thou art. The God who rules in heaven above. The God who rules on the earth. The God who super rules the sea. The God who told when the sun to shine. The same God who told the moon when to shine. The same God who told the sea it can only go so far. His excellency. His supreme majesty in power in loving compassion the same one when I was lost in sin the same one when I had no hope within the same one when I was in my distress David said in my distress I cried unto the Lord and he heard me he didn't just hear me but he delivered me there is none to compare there is none beside him the one who rules and super rules all hail all hail the power of Jesus name the writer says let angel Prostrate full. Bring forth the royal diadem. Crown him Lord of all. Crown him Lord of all. The same God I'm talking I'm trying to introduce someone to you and for me to introduce this person to you he don't just have a name but he's got all of these accolades behind him the God same God and when they put his servant Daniel in the den of lions he shut the mouth of the lions they made it so hard that they didn't feed the lions for days. So the moment they put him there, they know that was the end of it. But there is a God. There is a God. There is a God who sits high in his throne. The same God that when they put the Hebrew boys. When they put the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, made it seven times hotter than normal. The king walked around, said, I thought we put three. 
But I'm sure my eyes are not deceiving me. I can see four. So when you feel like it's you and you alone, when you feel like the world is on top of your shoulder, when you feel like all friends are gone, when you are on your own, God is there with you. There are times I asked the question before. I was struggling with something and I was asking myself some questions. And I came to church one, I'm sure it was a Sunday. And as always, God led our pastor. And as she was preaching, expounding the words, she says, Sometimes you have to go through the water. She says, sometimes you have to go through the flood. She says, sometimes you have to go through the fire. Because if you don't go through it, you won't know what God can do. Because I was saying, God, why did I have to go through this? But God said, some through. And as we're going through, you lead his, their children. I was thinking about blind Bartimaeus. I won't be long. I was thinking about blind Bartimaeus. And I was saying that he got the attention of God. Sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone. And I say whenever we have to get out of our comfort zone... I mean, sometimes we feel things have to go easy. Sometimes we feel things have to go our way. But we've got to get out of our comfort zone at times. And when we need help, we've got to cry for it. When we need deliverance, we've got to cry for it. When we, because God knows what we need. But at the same time, he wants us to ask. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. And as we read very quickly, in St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 46. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Tidius, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and says, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. He heard about Jesus. He heard what Jesus had did. He heard the miracles Jesus was doing. And he realized, the only way I can get out of my situation, the only way I can get out of my trouble, is I have to cry out. I have to get this man's attention. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need help. But we are so proud with it. We are so high up with that we won't ask for help. But the moment you ask for help, help will come. He heard that Jesus was passing by. And as you heard the song earlier on, he touched me. Oh, how he touched me. And why he cry out, many charge him that he should hold his peace. But he cried out the more a great deal. Thou, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. 
And they called the blind man saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. And he casted, and he casting away his garment, rose up and came to Jesus. Times you gotta drop off. Drop off the pride. Drop off the one of the things. One of the things with us, especially men. We don't feel that we should cry. We don't feel we should shed a tear. Us men, we feel that we should be a certain way. But sometimes we are being a certain way and dying inside. But today is your day. Drop off. Drop off the pride. Crying doesn't make a man weak. Crying is not a sign of weakness. I've learned that when sometimes when you shed a tear, it's good for the heart. Because when you hold up all of these things, and it builds up, and it builds up. Think of a pressure cooker. When you put everything and you lock it, it builds up. The heat builds up. The heat builds up. And if the simplest touch on the lid, it so today, today, you may not woke up this morning. You may not made up your, your mind to come to church today to hear that you can and you will be delivered. But today is your day. Today is a day of deliverance. Today the Savior is here. Today the Comforter is here. Today the Deliverer is here. Today. And he, he casting away his garment rose and came to Jesus. Jesus answered and said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? Jesus knew that he was blind. But Jesus wanted him to open his mouth. God knows what you are going through. God knows your sickness. God knows your trouble. God knows your fear. God knows you've reached to the point of no return. But today he's saying, open your mouth. Today he's saying, open your mouth. The blind man said unto him, Lord, that might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy faith, thy faith. Today, your faith. Today your faith will make you whole. The king of kings is here. The lord of lords is here. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah is here. The great I am is here. The savior is here. The healer is here. The all in all is here. Today, drop it off. Drop it off. The writer left it for us. The writer left it for us. And said, oh, what needless pain you bear. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because 
we do not carry. He didn't say some. He didn't say half. He didn't say 99.9. But it says everything. It says everything. It says everything. So what I might think is simple for you. God is saying everything. No matter how high the mountain may seem. God is saying everything. No matter how medium it may seem. God is saying everything. No matter how small it may seem. God is saying everything. 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 To him. To him. He's the only one. Is the only one. The only thing we can do is pray with you. But he will take it all. Is there somebody we can pray with today? Take it to him. It doesn't matter what it may be. Everything. Is there someone we can pray with today? Come to him right now. Come believe him. He is your father. He's telling you to come unto me. He's saying, I will take it. I said, take your burdens right now. Doesn't matter what it is. Take it to the Lord. 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 This is why God brought you here today. This is why God brought you here today. He has brought you so that he can deliver you. He's brought you so that he can set you free. He's brought you in so that he can make a way for you. He's brought you in right now. Everything. 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 Everything to him in prayer. Everything to him in prayer. Just give it to him. Give it to him right now. Just lay it all on the altar. Lay it all at the altar. Lay it all at the altar. Lay it at the feet of Jesus. Lay it at the feet of Jesus. He will set you free. He will make a way. He will make a way. He will make a way. When there seems to be no way. When everybody else has forgotten. God has not forgotten you. God is here with, for you. He's here for you right now. Is here to set you free. Is here to set you free. Is here to break every chain. Is here to break every fetter. Is here right now to deliver you. Take it to Him. Everything in prayer. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything. 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 God will deliver you. God will deliver you right now. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our 